What's up guys? I know it's been a minute since I've made a video and to be honest sometimes life just throws punches at you and you have to silently fight your battles and that's really what I've been up to. In addition to busy season and completing my courses successfully, I got an A for corporate law and a B plus for accounting information systems. But that aside, today I'm here to tell you more about what it takes to become a certified public accountant over here in the Netherlands. And it is a quite long and tedious process. So if you are interested in learning more about what it takes to become certified in accounting over here in the Netherlands, by any means, keep watching. So how I've divided this video is into three parts regarding the theoretical part of becoming a Dutch CPA. So I'll talk first about the bachelor phase, then I'll talk about the master phase, and finally I'll conclude with the postgraduate uh, study in order to become a Dutch certified public accountant. And so yeah, let's start with the bachelor phase. So in the bachelor phase, generally you choose to study something like accounting, business and economics. You can also study some Something that's within the business school but not necessarily related to accounting but that just means that you'll have more deficiency courses to complete later on so for example I didn't study accounting during the bachelor phase and I had about nine deficiency courses including things such as Dutch corporate law accounting information systems and auditing as deficiency courses that I had to work on in order to be eligible to become a certified Dutch public accountant during the master phase, generally you would also study accounting and that study takes about one or two years to complete over here in the Netherlands. And there are three main courses that need to be completed within that study in order to be able to progress to the postgraduate study. So those three courses are financial accounting, auditing, and internal control and accounting information systems. For both the master and bachelor phase, you could also choose to do those studies part-time, but that just means that it will take more time in order to complete your degree. And so then we move to the postgraduate study where I'm currently enrolled in and um, the postgraduate study unlike the bachelor and the master is only offered in a part-time setting and so with part-time I mean that usually classes are only given on Fridays or if you do the international for <laughs> or if you do the international version of the postgraduate study, then you'd have three times a year school for two consecutive weeks. So the part-time program is something that you do in addition to your actual job that most people complete at either a big four or a big eight firm or some other accounting institutions such as the tax authorities, which also support the postgraduate study. And um, yeah, there are other firms as well that support the postgraduate study, but generally you'll most likely encounter people that are currently working at a big for. So the postgraduate study takes on average two years to complete and I guess one of the perks of doing a postgraduate study is that about 50% of the time that you actually spend at school generally generally gets covered by your employer and 50% is for your own uh, invoice, is, is for yourself. So you you, so in essence, you get paid to go to school, which is something that is pretty cool. And lastly, in addition to the theoretical postgraduate study, you also have a practical part because you cannot become a Dutch certified public accountant without having any work experience. And over here, you need three years of work experience, either at a public accounting firm or the financial department of a company or the government authorities. Generally, it would be with the IRS, the tax authorities, uh, where you would get your work experience and so over the course of three years you need to spend a minimum of 3,000 hours pretty much on audit related work and so there are stipulations with regards to how many hours you should work on audit engagements and how many hours you can work on other type of assurance engagements because not all audit work is necessarily pertaining to the annual report and the financial statement audit. So every year with regards to financial statement audits, you would spend a minimum of 375 hours and the other hours, you can fill them in by doing other assurance engagements. For, uh, for example, ESA A engagements, you can work on IT audit engagements, etc. So that's pretty much the gist of what it takes to become a Dutch certified public accountant. As I told you guys, I'm currently doing the postgraduate study and um, it's going pretty okay so far. I mean, there are definitely some bumps along the road. And once you have the title of CPA, of course you need to complete a certain number of uh, PE hours every year in order to stay up to date with the latest developments within the accounting profession. Um, so yeah guys, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new today. Have a beautiful day wherever you are and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!